if our churches reflected the fact that the power of God and the priorities of God are different from the power and priorities of the outside world, we could cut through the heart of what is behind the culture of death. The idea that somehow people who are deemed to be problems, people who are deemed to be crises, people who are deemed to be stumbling blocks, people who are deemed to be useless or disposable are no such thing. They are part of the kingdom of God and Jesus says those who lead the kingdom of God. What empowers the culture of death is invisibility. That's the reason why so many people don't want to look at the sonogram screen. They don't want to think about what is on the other end that this, that this being that they are encountering technologically is not a thing but a person. But as we recognize that, we must ask who is invisible to us? Who are the people around us that we are shielding our own eyes from? Who are the people that we do not want to encounter because we are afraid of the burdens that they will bring upon us? If we recognize that every single human being, born and unborn, bears the imprint of the Lord Jesus Christ, he shares flesh and blood with them, then we're going to be willing to risk. It is risky to welcome that unwed mother into your home. You don't know if you're going to be able to adequately care for, for her. You don't know if she's going to make the right decisions. You don't know what the end point of her life story is going to be. It is risky to welcome that child with fetal alcohol syndrome into your children's ministry because you don't know how much of the resources of your church are going to have to go into keeping things, uh, keeping things going for him or for her. It is risky to welcome orphans into your home and to, to bring them at your table as beloved sons and daughters. Those things can disrupt your life. Those things can mess up your life in the way that you view it. But these things are worth it, not because the investment pays off in the end the way that the world sees it, but because the kingdom of God gives us a different perspective on who they are and who we are. 